Okay, doke, so I've um, added some extra things. As you can see, I've added some extra audio tracks and I've put a backing vocal quickly onto each of the five audio tracks. All right. And what I've done is I've created a five part sort of harmony and it's the opening phrase from the song 96 Degrees in the Shade by the reggae band Third World uh, from the album of the same name. They, they've got an album called 96 Degrees in the Shade. And it's an old school album, you know, recorded entirely on tape in the 70s. And if you don't know this album as a beginner, I suggest seriously that you go straight away and buy it because it is one of the finest recordings ever made and committed to vinyl, OK? It really is a stunningly recorded and mixed album and you can learn a hell of a lot from listening to it. So I suggest you go and get it, all right? All right, um, I'm not a great singer or anything, um, but this is what I've recorded. 96 degrees in the shade. Alright, no harmonizers and no pitch correction, by the way. <laughs> okay, um, okay, and I like the mix of the backing vocals. And look, if I go into the mixer, I've colored all the channel strips with this red color so you can quite easily see which is the audio tracks for the harmonies, right? I'll just make this here bit shorter so we can see everything all right so each audio track in the harmony if you notice has got a different pan and a different fader level okay look every single one has got a different fader level and a different pan position because that's how I've mixed it okay and I like the mix as it is 96 degrees okay Okay, so I think to myself, I'm working on a track, let's say, and these harmonies are part of the track. So I think, great, the harmony recording went okay. I've balanced the harmonies and panned them so that as a stereo harmony group, they sound, the balance is right, and I'm getting the harmony blend that I want, and everything's good. Okay, now, this instrument track with the blip, blip, blip synth on it, I'm going to open that up again, and I'm going to change its output back to stereo output. Okay, now... So this blip, blip, blip electric piano is going to represent like the backing music, okay? Now, so in the process of mixing and recording my track, I've got this harmony part that I've recorded across five tracks. I've balanced the harmony as a stereo group, and it sounds good as a stereo group. But then I notice that my stereo harmonies, because, you know, everything appears in stereo at the final output, right? So my stereo harmony group, which is recorded across these five tracks, sounds the balance between the individual harmonies sounds good as a group, but the whole harmony group is either too high or too low in the mix relative to the rest of the backing music. 96 degrees. Okay, so let's say I think the harmonies are too loud and I need to lower them relative to the backing music. Well, what I'd have to do is go along and lower each channel fader one by one to get the new level of the harmonies all together whilst trying to retain their independent levels relative to each other the same, right? Like this. 96 degrees in the shade. 96 degrees in the shade. OK, and now I've lowered all the harmonies, but it was very fiddly and I've probably upset the balance between them. OK, and I had to do each one individually and it's inaccurate and it's time consuming and it's stupid. OK, so I'm going to show you now what I would call the primary use of a bus in recording. And it's the same for live uh, sound engineering, actually. OK, uh, watch this. OK, now I'm going to put each of these vocal track channel strips so that they're no longer assigned to the stereo out as they are now, but I'm going to assign them all to bus one. OK, so I go to the first channel strip for the first track and I go to the output slot and I choose bus one and then the second one and choose bus one, etc. But there actually is a quicker way and I'll show you that now just put them back to stereo 
output. Okay, if you're adjusting the parameters of two or more channel strips, you can do it like this. You just highlight the first one, and then while holding down Shift, click the other one so they're all highlighted. And then if you go to any of the parameters and change it, it will change the parameter for all of them. So if I go to the output slot of any of these vocal track channel strips and change the output to bus 1, Look, they've all changed to bus one. Okay, so now all these harmonies are arriving at this auxiliary one channel strip as a stereo group on a stereo fader. Okay, so now I can adjust the entire stereo harmony group of these five harmony tracks and channel strips here. Yeah? as a stereo group on this single fader because all these vocal track harmony channel strips are going to bus one so they're all f all their signals are flowing along along that hidden road bus one and arriving at this auxiliary channel strip so now my entire stereo harmony group is on this fader as a stereo group 96 degrees the shade. See what I mean? And then I can adjust them up and down relative to the rest of the mix with ease. Isn't that fantastic? And when you send a bunch of harmony vocals or a horn section on individual tracks or layered guitar parts on individual tracks to a bus so that all those harmonies or layers are on the same stereo fader once you've got the balance right of their individual channels you can then l raise or lower that group of channels on a single stereo fader very easily and that's called grouping channels okay because they're grouped onto this single stereo fader and i can now raise and lower them as a group with ease relative to the rest of the mix okay Sure, that is one and a primary use of buses. Okay, it grouping lots of channels onto one channel is called grouping, and you do it by assigning as many channels as you want to a bus, and then the channel strip receiving that bus contains all those audio channels as a stereo group which you can adjust in lev in level very easily without disturbing the individual levels of the original channel strips that those signals are on. Okay, so this is now my group of backing vocals. 96 degrees in the shade 96 degrees in the shade 96 degrees in the shade. Okay, let's move on.